Hi everyone. So I was planning to create a, uh, be a breakdown video based on uh, micro interactions, like how micro interactions work in Framer. And last night while I was watching the Apple event, and something got me intrigued. Like why not create that based on the Apple products that they launched last night? So that's what I did, and I didn't took much time to design and uh, develop that. And I'm really sorry because this still not looks professional and uh, that's, that, that's because I took very little time and yeah but it will be able to explain the whole things like how micro interactions and everything work it will be able to explain that so that's that's what my goal is and today's topic is micro interactions and I uh, I think you already know a little or more than that but yeah let me explain well uh i have incorporated all the products that apple launched last night and uh, yeah the first one is thunderbolt 5 so if i hover on it you can see an interaction coming up and it's really soothing and the second one is m4 chip the mac studio they incorporated so it will look something like this and if i hover on the th third one the studio display one it will show some information about that specific product and the fourth one is mac mini when i hover on it the video will start and it will show a bit information about that and the last one is uh, ports and everything so it will look something like this see so yeah uh, that's the part from my end and i can show you much more example uh like this one so this one is more uh informative like you can see everything is uh like in made not imaged attached here it can be able to achieve using figma and that's what we will do today like this one like each card is interactive see this is really really uh like like amazing uh showcase of works you can also do that that's what i'm going to break down today so the second one is something like this right everything coming up and the last one is an accordion so the first one is see so it's really uh, a good way to showcase your uh your websites information and everything so let's start so for the like layouts and everything let me explain that from here uh, like uh, just a second so I have splitted that into two part like division one and divisions two you can say section one or section two as well and then I incorporated a split for 50% 50% for the first one and the second one as well so it can remain it ratio and everything and for the first one I split it that into another two div or section and then I incorporated incorporated another two div there inside it like 30% 70% and the second one is 50% 50% it's all up to you and the last one it will look something like this so that's the layout ratio I incorporated here so this will look something like this the first one second one the first one itself and there is another two of it second one will be as it is third one as well the fourth one will look something like this so yeah that's the layout and let's break down each part of it like i just converted those as a component for each of it so the first one let's double click on it see the first primary variant has text in it i hide that and also there is another like frame that I add some linear gradient and make it blur so it will look something like this I hide that as well for the primary variant and the variant 2 I applied uh, 
unhide that and then I also unhide the frame as well and then I just connect both using mouse enter that's it and the second one I applied mouse leaf and there is no delay is zero so that's how you can like when someone entered their mouse here it will convert that into a variant 2 and when someone leave their mouse it will again come back to its origin like primary variant that's how i made and you can also apply some transition like i applied spring and bounce is zero and time frame is 0 0.4 second and that's it for the first one and if i click on the second one i pasted all the comp uh, like elements from my figma that i designed here for each of it i just copy that using this one framer to html sorry figma to html using framer sorry yeah figma to html with framer sorry and i just pasted that here and rearranged those all and like you will not be able to edit those uh once you copy and pasted that you just need to apply some strategy there let me show you let me paste that again okay so see okay it's already came up with all the variant of it and let's copy that again okay and pasted that here okay at this moment you can see there are some means arrangement there you just need to make it some uh, shuffle that and layer those so that it will come up and in top position and everything but in order to design all the elements here as a vector this one is not vector at this moment because you can see it's and it looks something like this but when you double click on it see it's already converted as a vector see and you have to double click again to edit that now you can see there are two paths it's showing and on the join you can see you can change the color something like this it will be applicable for all the elements it has that's what i did for the primary one i made all the uh, elements black and white and then i just tweak those as a colorful variant and add that text here it's all, all it's still there but i hide that and unhide that there and this one as well it's still here see so i applied a uh, mouse enter and that's it and the transition is spring zero bounce uh, is 0 0.2 but you can keep it zero as well it's up to you and the third one studio display same everything and the fourth one this one i applied an image this one and there is also a video there i hide that and the second variant that uh, i unhide the video and hide the image and that's it and yeah there is one thing you need to uh, keep in mind uh, for the first variant video i uh, applied no for the playing and the second one i applied yes for the playing so that when it converted to variant 2 the video will automatically start and that's it for the mac mini and fourth one and if i click on this one see there is an image i attached here and two button and also there is a another uh, stack here but i hide that at in this uh, primary section and uh, yeah that's it for the primary one and the variant two i made it to its respective uh, position to showcase like this one Mac, i just changed the image properties so our max studio can show, uh, display here and the third one is uh, also like i am incorporated that in a way so that we can show our display right like this one and attached all the information here as well just change that you can be able to achieve that and uh, the connection and everything the interaction uh, i change that to variant 2 and make it click and delay is zero second you don't have to apply anything for the delays and the second one as well and the transitions you can see it's applicable for all 0 0.4 second bounce zero it and it's all previously spring and time and that's what i did so that you can achieve 
something like this so you can see that this one is coming a little bit late because i applied effects appear here everything is looks good just opposite is zero but there i made a 0 0.5 second delay so it's coming a little bit delay see that's what i did here and uh, this one the final one is important because it has some uh, complicated uh, measurements and designs uh, i have applied here let me show you so i created all those connections and everything in like vector format and pasted that there and the box itself i made something like this so yeah that's it uh, so you just need to copy that the first this one and pasted that uh sorry here and then you can achieve like the circles and everything i manually made them all and just tweak those things for the second vari uh, variant too the way i showed you so that's it and if you want to make that like if you want to make your box closed to look something like this i can show you that like let me uh, copy that and paste that on our let's create another variant uh, sorry let's create another component here convert that and paste that here and you can uh, add those all under one frame something like this okay so you can see there are some mismanagement and we can solve that like this one should be come on top see so i just need to double click on it the first one again again and then i just need to make them closed following that yeah to look something like this it, this is just not for this one you can apply this strategy for all i'm just showing you like how you can make it done right okay uh that's it and you can see there are two parts you can see uh, this one we can solve that issue here just make it uh sorry this one right should be on top yes and this one as well you just need to close that that's it i will share the remix file so you can check that like how i made them all you just need to add if some element is not coming up on top of each other you can apply z index method here but if you want to apply that on those vector file you just need to convert those thing as a frame first like you need to add frame of it first and then you can apply that so yeah that's it for the last one i just made the mouse center interaction for the first one and the second one is as also mouse leaf and there is no delay and the transition is easy and out so it will look something like this so yeah that's it for today and if you face any issue you can comment below so i can uh, assist you there and i'll do my best okay have a good time bye